Good day, everybody. Welcome back. Glad you were here to join me in my journey today, elk hunting all day in the mountains. So, sun's just starting to come up right now, and we're going to make ourselves a little breakfast, get fueled up. We're going to burn a ton of calories today. We're going to pack light, uh, try to pack light. We're going into the wild beyond. So, I saw elk yesterday just above my camp here. Um, all the way up top and then a little bit over and I'm gonna explore over this mountain and a little bit over as well today I'm gonna make a big loop around and see if I can run into them. Yesterday I didn't hunt in the afternoon so I'm interested to see how the elk activity is in the afternoon. About 8 to 10.30 they seem to be moving pretty good and then I think they laid up midday. I saw one mountain range where they were really trucking up there and it was high. I'm gonna attempt to stay up there all day, as long as I can stand it. Let's make ourselves a good hearty breakfast and uh, let's explore nature and let's go get an elk with a bow. We started our ascent. We got, oh, we are not even close, we are like, an eighth of the way of where we're going to be into starting to see sign and then we're going to explore even deeper in a couple of areas that I've looked at on the map they look like open grazing areas so I'm going to sit on those and really watch those but look at that y'all crisp air a lot of this tracking up here is just like walking over big trees I've got a really nice path right now to go up. It's not too bad, so. It's a good morning, good exercise. Let's go find them though.
not sure what happened with that, that last cow. She had at least one spike following her. And uh, I ran over and got a position. I felt so confident I broke out with the big camera. And I was at least gonna get, you know, some footage. And just kinda see what they do. I thought they would come into this low-lying area down here and feed. But uh, she was just getting pushed by, the, by that spike. And he pushed her, he pushed her down out of range. <sighs> I don't know if I should chase him. I've tried chasing him multiple occasions, did it this morning, got busted. And in fact, that could have been the same elk because I've spooked a spike when I first got up there and then there was a cow and something else I could really couldn't tell. And so it looked like that same small group, but the thermals have kicked in now. The thermal winds, like basically what happens is uh, the cold air, cold air sinks. So in the mornings, the, the winds push down and uh, when the air heats up, um, it starts to starts to rise. So it's just pushing up the mountain right now. So it's just coming into my face as I'm looking down. So that's good if I want to just stay high and look down. If you just want to get a visual of my position here, I think I'm definitely going to come hunt here this evening. Because I know you guys can't see anything, but this is like, this is actually a pretty clear view considering um there's like a little shelf down there and that's that that elevation that they like there's a lot of stuff growing i'm just above it and behind me i've got um well just above that knoll there there's like heavy heavy rocks up there so i think i'm gonna hike back up that way and look at the waller for a minute and just keep pushing uh until i see a herd and uh Man, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like the way to kill them is just sit there. Because all the dry, broken sticks, I mean, they just hear you and they take off. Even if you have the wind right. It's either that or just call one in. And I'm not good at calling and they're not really responsive right now, so... It's tough. But I think I can get it done. I've still got a couple more days, but I'm going to hunt very hard today. Continue with the game plan. Burn some calories, eat some food. Enjoy the wilderness. Let's go find some more elk. I'm about as high as I'm gonna go right now. Um, I think I'm gonna go back to the direction where I spooked those elk. I sat at the hollow, the ugh, altitude. Sat at the wallow for probably 10, 20 minutes and just, I don't know. I'll probably sit there this evening, but um, for right now, I'm going to kind of stay at this elevation and walk. Too high. Yeah, I'm way up here. It's lightheaded. This is high, y'all. Look at it. Just snow on the mountains over there. Look behind me. There's not much left to go. Well, folks, I am trying my darndest out here to get an elk. But I've gone back and forth on this ridge, looking down, found really fresh scat, really fresh prints. And uh, if I just go in there deep, they're gonna bust me. So I need to wait for them to start moving again. I, I'm really exhausted. I mean, this is, this is part of elk hunting right here, but um, no stranger to it. Uh, after my New Zealand hunt, I feel like I can handle any any kind of hunt in North America, really. 
But <clears throat> we gotta get ourselves some food. I'm drained, I have a headache, which means I'm probably dehydrated as well. Um, already drank a bottle of water. And this is a, a liter that I have left that I've also been drinking. This is from the creek water that I filtered. And I'm gonna use some of that to cook up the old mountain house. And today we got, oh, we got a little beef stroganoff. Oh, yeah. A little hot meal up here. Every day about this time, the weather has changed as well. Like, it gets cloudy and there's some, a little bit of rain that comes in. So, with these old mountain houses, it's a pretty convenient little deal. And they're not bad. They're not the worst thing I've ever had. Make sure you take your little uh, little drying agent out. And what we need to do is heat up some water and put it in there. So this is a little portable propane tank. And then I've got this little kit right here, which allows me to uh, set up a burner off of the, uh, off the thing. They make ones that go right on top of here, but I chose to get this one because I can I don't know. I can move it around a little bit more. Let's see here. Hope this baby fires up. I haven't used it since New Zealand. Ooh. Wow. That's on. Had a little splurge there. Yeah, it's really cold when it comes out. Oh, jeez. Sorry about that. I got this tiny little tripod I'm trying to make it work. Okay. Let's see if she starts. Oh, yeah. There she goes. So this is my little cooking kit that I carry, and it's got all those little essential things in there. But I keep my tin at the top of my bag for our water in our titanium cup. Gotta make sure the ground is flat. I don't burn my fingers. Stopping and cooking is a lot of work up here. <laughs> Boiling hot water has been applied to the Mountain House Beef Stroganoff meal. And now we just gotta wait like 10 minutes. Look at these happy folks right here. Just enjoying the mountains. You know, they don't look like mosquitoes are biting them and flies are buzzing around their heads. They're just enjoying the mountain ass, the mountain house that they've built. I don't know. They do look happy though. One of the things that catches you off guard up here is the amount of flies. They're everywhere. So I've got my bags in here somewhere. But basically, um, I have these, these sacks that prevent the meat from spoiling and prevents the flies from landing on it and laying eggs. As soon as I get an animal on the ground, I'll have to start cutting it up, put it in bags, and then hang it up and just keep coming back. Like, y'all, if I do get one up here, it's gonna take me at least a whole day just to get all the meat down. Like, I really need to get one today or tomorrow. And that way I'll have an entire day to really process the meat and get it out of here. It's fine at night. It's basically freezing temperatures, but you know, during the day it's okay as long as the flies don't land on it and lay eggs. And the flies go totally away at night. I would stay a little bit longer. Um, I've got to get back in a few days. I have a doctor's appointment. 100% need to go. Um, just sitting up here in this altitude, having a headache right now, just reminds me. I still have a brain tumor growing my, in my head. I'm just rambling now. I'm gonna eat this stroganoff and uh, just kind of hang out for a little bit, rest to be honest with you. And then I'm gonna get a game plan together. I spotted like a pond on the map. I might go check out, see if there's any elk activity midday, do some calling over there. But it's like two miles away. Um, other than that, thanks for being here. You're my only form of like contact right now with any other human beings. 
Besides my GPS, I guess I could text on that, but yeah, straight up here alone in the woods with the elk. I mean, who doesn't just love to see a big bird of prey? screaming over the mountains while they eat their mountain house. I enjoy that. If I could only tap the Rockies with some silver bullets right now, or at least to end the day, I'd say my Rocky Mountain experience would be uh, fulfilled, complete. Besides the elk. Let's be serious. That's why we're up here killing ourselves. All right, flies, get away from my stro geese. That's a game changer. Oh, man. It's just nice to have just a warm meal while you're trekking up here, burning tons of calories, and then you just get a nice warm meal, picks you up, makes you feel like you're back at regular altitudes. By the way, if you hear that thing over there, I have these crazy grasshoppers that sound like firecrackers. Okay, I'm gonna eat these noodles and dehydrated beef. And we're gonna keep trekking. Where to, I don't know. In search of elk. Day two. Keep going. Incredible branching. He's still in velvet. Absolutely gorgeous. I just saw those. There was a doe that busted me. And uh, that fawn that I saw was a mule deer fawn. This big buck is. Phew, he's a gigantor. He's just up there feeding away, way high up there. So, can't shoot him. Unfortunately, well, he's way too far anyways, but I'd love to make a stalk on him. He's an absolute brute. But uh, I don't have a tag for him. My head's killing me. I think it's the altitude. It's 258. I'm going to go get in position around some areas. I think they're going to walk through the elk. See what we can do. But pretty awesome to see. Way to go.
Look at all this bright green moss. It's like it's glowing. This is the highest I've ever been. Absolutely. I, it's playing with my head. <clears throat> I really want to get down from this height. It is sketchy. Well, it ain't Everest, but it's definitely the Rockies. Oh, God. Please don't be any crevasses. Altitudes, highest ever for me, and I'll see you guys.